Well, wedding season is in full swing. It is a great time to celebrate, but one of the toughest hurdles in marriage can be getting on the same financial page. Elijah Kovar with Great Waters Financial has some advice on starting your marriage off on the right financial foot. And this is a struggle for so many couples, Elijah. It sure is. As a matter of fact, money is one of the number one causes of arguments and mm. fights and ultimately separation in marriages. So it's so important we start off on the right foot, do the right things in the beginning so we can have a strong financial foundation. And it's throughout. hard for people because we've been independent our whole lives and we have our own goals, but yeah. you say it's very important to be on the same, have the same goals, to yes. sit down and yeah. talk about it. First of all, goals habits and experiences. It's it's common advice for people to say you need to set down, set your financial goals. How much are you going to save? How much debt are you going to pay off? What kind of retirement uh, savings are you going to put in place? But how about our habits? What about the way we were raised? The way our parents so is this raised like some us? of us are savers, some of us are spenders? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Or even, you know, just the way financial decisions were made. Maybe you were from a conservative family. Maybe your spouse was from a family where they didn't really talk about spending decisions, dad would show up with a new car and surprise mom. Yeah. Or, That's going to be a point know. of conflict your whole marriage yeah. unless you get on the same page. Yes, it can be a lot of surprises unless we're talking about what to expect ahead of time. Okay, yeah. and you also suggest to review your financial house? Yes, uh, and create a plan. So th these are just the basics. What are our expenses together now? It's not two separate sets of expenses. What are our incomes together? Um, a lot of times people, they get married and they still function on two different financial mm -hmm. pages. We've got right. to join it together. Should we have a joint bank account or do we want to keep those separate? That was a big one for my wife and I when we is, got married. Is there one that you recommend more than the other to join or to stay separate? Well, there are a lot of different opinions on uh -huh. this. My wife and I, we joined them together okay. and it made a huge difference okay. for us. It brought us together on the same page. It, it caused us to start talking about the purchases mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. And I think that made a, a big difference. And then you have to have a joint budget where you decide, okay, how much are we spending on sporting? How much are we spending on hobbies? You can tell what's important to me. <laughs> how much are we spending on clothes uh -huh. and makeup and hair? You know, what are, what, what are we agreeing on here um, and that, versus? Yeah, yeah, it was doing, doing whatever sure. you want to do, right? Yeah. It's different. Your last exactly. tip is about uh, uh, responsibilities, divvying them up, right? Yeah, who's going to be in charge of what? So and who's in charge of paying the bills on a monthly basis? My wife, she, she was a business administrator. It was easy for her on the first of the month, go right through the bills. It kills me to do mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Now, yeah. I, I enjoy handling the investments and those kind of things. So financial decisions as far as strategy, that's more on my end of things. Financial planning, I'll lead that conversation she comes sure. with, but she knows I'm in the driver's seat there. She's in the driver's seat when it comes to the bills. Yeah. So just deciding who's There's responsible There's some good things to this. I can't wait to never have to balance a checkbook again. That's going to my fiance. <laughs> sure, I am happy about it. Very good. <laughs> Elijah, thank you. Yeah, great to see you. Great to see you. There's still a lot